Okay guys, well that was the end of the heating cycle to clean this new beautiful toy, the Pampered Chef Blender Cooker. Did you get one? Do you have it? Are you excited? I'm excited. I'm pretty excited. As you can see there, that was like very powerful. And um, I didn't add any soap because there's nothing, like I already cleaned it and there's really nothing in there, but it's hot. It heats it up. You put it on this heated wash cycle and it, it really heats it up and it's pretty powerful and just kind of goes. Like you just like set it and like walk away. So anyway, I'm just gonna show you. Um, ooh, steam, uh, steaming, a facial. That's cool, right? Okay, I just wanted to pretend like I, I just got this thing. I'm backing up to telling you a little bit about it. Um, it says when you get this machine to, to give it its own dedicated plug. And I think that is because this is a powerful machine. It, it is really cool. This is actually lighter than I thought it would be, this part of the machine. And I'm gonna turn it on so you can see. Um, it's It has like, um, this little button here is kind of like your on button and it also toggles. So I don't know that this, um, Anyway, I'm just gonna, t I'm gonna tell you. The, the one side says cancel, and then it has in the blue for like cold settings, smoothies, alternate milks, so, so nut milks, cashew, oat milks. I saw recipes for all of those in the book. Grind for nut butter, yay, any kind of nut butters. And then the heated wash. That's all on the one side. On the other side, there's a little pulse button. I haven't used that yet. And then we have the soup and heated puree and sauce and jam, those are the hot, the hot areas. So um, this part, wow, it's, this is a little bit heavier than I thought. And you could see from the bottom, the main thing to know here is that you never want to submerge this in water. These are some elements that do not want to be submerged in water. No. Okay, so when we put this on the base, there's a little, little handle here on the side to help you just get it on and off the base because it's a little bit heavy. So you got that. Can you see this? All right, then we have the lid and let's say if we were gonna, if we were gonna um, do that thing again where we're putting the, the cleaning in it, we're cleaning it up. They said like put three cups of water to do that. So I had it running when I started the video but maybe I can just, don't you love that noise? That's such a fun noise. It's just like my Instant Pot. And if you have an Instant Pot, you love that noise, right? It's so cute. Okay, so um, the machine came with a tamper. And if you uh, haven't worked with the tamper before, let me assure you, it's designed so you can't, this little part here keeps it from ever hitting the blade. As crazy as you want it's never gonna hit the blade and um you probably need this if you're gonna make like nut butters uh, for smoothies maybe you might want to i don't know if you'll need to but i like using a tamper it's fun it's a little more interactive uh also this machine came with a cheesecloth a cheesecloth for making alternative butter alternative butters i'm sorry milks for making milks and um and then this little fun brush for cleaning. But that heated wash is pretty powerful. So let's just see, oh, never fill the machine more than six cups for hot or more than seven cups for cold. Let's just see if we can get like, um, let's see, I'm gonna try it. I just put it on a smoothie. And Look at that. Okay, so I'm pretty excited. I think there's a lot of things you can do with this. You'll be able to set it and walk away if you're gonna make a hot soup or um, 
obviously for smoothies and hummuses and nut butters and milks. I gotta go through here. I gotta get yeah, go ahead, honey. What? You go ahead. My my husband's embarrassed me. <laughs> um, all my two viewers, honey, that's okay. No worries. All right. Well, anyway, I hope you are excited to have your your pampered chef toy. I am as well. And happy cooking, everybody. 